A garage full of decomposing bodies, stained casket pillows, loved ones mixed up at funerals. The horror stories emerged after the state shut down the Swanson Funeral Home in Flint just last month. Yeah, since then, many families have been demanding answers, so we're digging deeper to find them. Seven investigator Heather Catalo has been pouring over complaints about this funeral home that goes back several years. There's actually bullet holes on the window here. I don't know if you can really even see that, but it's a bullet hole. Disturbing complaints about employees working on bodies without protective gear and forged death certificates date all the way back to 2012. Despite these dozens of complaints, it took the state five years to shut Swanson Funeral Home down. The complaints were about everything from people working on bodies with no protective gear to improper storage facilities for human remains. Finally, just last month, the state shut Swanson's down. State officials said they again found decomposing bodies in a maggot-infested garage that had been there for months. Just got into this funeral home. Amazing funeral home, especially at one time. I first did this funeral home when it closed down in 2017. When I first did it, it had all the caskets, all the stuff. It was pretty intact. That was about four years ago. Since then, it's got ransacked and scrapped and beaten up pretty badly, tags. Um, but overall, it's still a cool explorer and it's one of the classic locations. And it's a funeral home, can't beat that. So let's check it out. Contains formaldehyde. There's the body lift. Here's one of those uh, praying hands that you can put uh, as like a decorative sticker or patch. Looks like both you have there. And then here is some of the embalming room. Look at all these grimy tools. Just nasty. Hemostats and scissors and tweezers. A saw, seriously? What the hell? That's creepy. This place closed down to deplorable and unsanitary conditions. I guess there was like maggots and everything crawling all over bodies in here. That's why they shut it down in 2017. Pillow and neck brace there. This table, all this makeup. Product, funeral product, more makeup in this case here. Looks like some blush and makeup, makeup remover, nail polish. Here's more nail polish and mascara and looks like some eyeliner and even a uh, comb there. Styling gel here. Looks like a multiple color uh, blush or mascara thing there. Of course, I don't know. I don't use that stuff, but Permafix. Some embalming product. Look at people's wigs, different color wigs over here. More wigs down here, brown and black and gray. Hair everywhere. And down here, you even have more product. Some, uh, looks like fake lashes there. Permalash. And looks like some nail stuff here. Some file and fake nails. There's some more. Look at those fake nails. And a file. Some liner. Blush. Looks like some, maybe some uh, adhesive there for the nails. The crazy thing about this place too is that when I first explored this place in 2017, all the power was on. So this place had all the power on when I first did it. This is the actual embalming room.
Attention, all removal staff. All remains should be properly identified by you. <laughs> this means that you need to put some sort of life on the remains before you leave the funeral home. John Doe is unacceptable. <laughs> That's great. You can see all the tile here. Subway tile on the walls. Grimy embalming table. Porcelain too. Gotta love when there's a slab in the funeral homes. It's classic stuff. The neck brace again. Looks like a hypodermic needle there. Let's look at all the grime. Gross. Gotta love it. Looks like, <laughs> seriously, looks like blood in this thing. Probably could be rust, but could be blood for all we know. Some more product over here. The sink and drain there. So here we got some dry wash, some perma seal, restorative solution, silicone, drying, basic, no idea, perma fix, perma fix, perma glow, press and curl, cavity chemical, artery fluid, and formalin gel. So basically, this is a formaldehyde gel used for uh, kind of prepping bodies and so they don't decompose and rot. Same with permaglow. That's like an embalming fluid. All these crazy products up here. There's another needle. Absorbent powder for bodies. The sinks here. There's more back here. Look at these biohazard containers. <sighs> Jesus. Permaglow. Artery fluid. Cavity index and embalming fluids. Here's drying. This is like for uh, surgical incisions and things like that. Same with the inner steel. That's used for sealant for uh, surgeries and operations. So autopsies, obviously, they have to uh, cut open the body. So they'll seal it using these products right here. Drying, silicone, and inner seal. And some of this restorative stuff, probably too. Permaseal. Here's some shampoo for the deceased. Just amazing that all of this is still here. More here, and even the drawers have stuff in them. Looks like some band aids or something. I'm not sure why they would need that. Pretty cool. It's so weird shooting this in the dark. The last time it was full power, full electricity in this place, like I said. It's taken a downhill turn since then, though. Like almost four years ago. Maybe even over four years ago. Just amazing how much this place has really suffered since I first explored it back then. Gross. And some more artery fluid and embalming fluid and sealant sterilizing solution. And then the uh, biohazard used needles and stuff like that. Still here. How crazy. Oh, goggles and gloves, scrub brush. Incredible. We have a whole box of more artery fluid. Embalming fluid, permafix, and permaglow. Look at that, just a, so much in this box, it's crazy. Wild. Everything's still in here. Like So now we will go upstairs and 
and check out the rest of the place. If we come down here, the basement, there isn't much to it. Let's see, it's mostly cleaned out. My first time in here, there was a lot more stuff in here, especially in the basement. This was actually the casket display room. And you can see Huntington green casket, steel, 16 gauge. Um, here's more signs for the caskets that were for sale. You can see there's a few of them. But these were all, caskets were literally on these display cases right here. Same ones, you can see. This one too. Here's a bronze one over here. Copper ones here, another copper one there. There was some over here, steel. So these display, display cases, or display shelves, I guess, literally held all the caskets when I first did this in 2017. And then there was some, I believe, some back here. So they've cleaned it all out of the caskets since I was in here four years ago. Here's some different um, sheeting, different colors and samples and stuff. So you could go inside the uh, casket. And then over here we have some urns and vaults. Somebody smashed them, a couple of them. So these would store people's uh, cremated remains. And then you could put them in a mausoleum or on your kitchen table. Just kidding. actually shows like the burial process and stuff the funerals so here you have some more of the uh, urns and vaults on the floor you see this is the lift here where they would go downstairs take the caskets downstairs so they would obviously went to carry them <clears throat> that leads back down to the embalming room we'll check out the garage real quick because there's a hearse in here still as you can see. Look at that thing. Sick ass hearse. And look at the back here. Cremated remains. So sad. Husband, father, son. It's terrible. Tragic to see cremated remains left. I don't like that. Should be with their family. And we can see this side is all tagged up. People's markers and tags and stuff. When I first explored this place back then, it had all the tigers, it was in mint condition, probably still ran. Take a look at the engine. Yes, it's a caddy. There you go. Caddy engine. Somebody's trying to scrap it. Strip it. There's some shit in here too. Charlie May Myers. Looks like a Obituary DVD. Looks like some funeral stuff in there. And you already saw the back of it, so there's no point in opening that up. But look at this. Still clothes hanging up over there. This is the garage area. Uh, a little casket holder there with the stretcher thing on there. Pretty cool. Tons of trash and stuff from the garage you see there's the hearse again there's not much in these other rooms said most of it's cleaned out this was like a floral area 
you can see. Not much to it. If you come this way, you can actually see the chapel. This is the chapel of the funeral home. You can see it's got some scrap damage right there. All these chairs still set up. Here's the front, looking toward the front. Looks like we've got a chandelier sitting on the floor here. And literally one of the um, casket holders, casket display holders is still sitting here in front of the chapel. Piano or organ over there, the podium and some floral decorations and stuff that would be used for the funerals. And it looks like somebody's um, urn from Arkansas. Sick, dude, I want a Michigan logo on mine. David Allen Jones. Okay, well, at least Mr. Jones isn't in there. Thank God. I don't like cremated remains left. This should be with their families. And it's all too common that these places, funeral homes, leave the cremated remains. That should never happen. It's just a disgrace. Chapel again, chairs, and the front of the chapel. You can see scrappers have uh, been making some damage in here. I believe they kind of moved these chairs off to the side because they were a little more centered, I think, when I came in here back in 2017. My first time, oh, four years ago. Here's somebody's grave marker. Antoine Love. And here you have some more gravestones, some urns, vaults and stuff, people's names on it. This guy's got a seal, a U.S. seal on his. Maybe he was a vet. This guy's like some musician. This one's got some crazy three-dimensional stuff, floral stuff going on. Let's see if anybody's in these. Nope. Let's see if anybody's in these. Nope. So they're all empty at least. Crazy though that they're still sitting here. I'm not even going to try to guess what that is. Here we have some more of people's loved ones that passed away. Another uh, urn or vault over there. Miss Odessa Jackson. Miss Sheila Rutledge. And Cowboy. Incredible stuff. All just sitting here. That looks like a goddamn cop or something. Bible, scriptures and stuff for the notes and stuff. They're the uh, obituaries. Wild stuff. Right over here. The bathroom. There's not much in these rooms. They're all empty. I can even show you. This empty part of the chapel actually leads over there. This goes back downstairs. And this room is cool. So you have some. Casket 
displays. Somebody's hanging in there. Look at that. Oh, that's Miss Rutledge again. And there she is again. She's everywhere. Here's Grandma's picture. And then some of the samples are gone. When I first explored this back then in 2017, there was more samples. It was actually maybe five more, not a ton more. Some of the casket samples are obviously gone, missing, taken, stolen, scrapped, whatever. So this would be the casket sample room where the loved ones would literally pick out the casket. You kind of see the sample of it and how it looks for your loved one. So you can get a real feel for it and a real look at it. This Batesville casket here. I don't see a price really. I'm sure they were a pretty penny though. This one over here. Another Batesville casket. And a few more here. Let's get this light on. Kind of wanted to keep it off because I'm by the windows. You can see. But let's get a light on these uh, samples here. Plant there, fake plant. All right, then we will go to the last area. You can see they've done some, um, looks like they were like in the process of maybe renoing. You can see they ripped up some of the floor. When I was here in 2017, a lot of this was intact. That leads back to the chapel. Let's see, this was all intact. So it's crazy how they ripped it all up. This is another way back into the chapel from the side where there, there's the organ or piano there. Should see that? Okay. Another one here. And if you go back behind here, here's the piano. And there's the chapel again. This one's an organ. And make our way back to the front lobby area. Walk through here. You can see the old funeral home sign there. Sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Uh, I'll say. So, weird question. Did y'all get to get pictures or whatever y'all? Got a couple. Yeah, got a couple, but we don't want it. You know. So, it's some ghosts in here right now? It was creepy. <laughs> Especially, okay, the basement, there's literally the embalming room down there with the slab in the table where they did. Fuck it, I'm going down there. Let's go. Like, yeah. You want to see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> really incredible. Rags on the floor. 